Hey everyone, welcome back to part two. In this video, we're gonna look at creating our custom component. So let's get started. And now we get to create our custom component. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our blueprint pickup cube because we need a variable before we do that. And we're just gonna to go to the variables tab and we're gonna do a new variable and we're gonna call this animation to use. We're gonna hit enter. And we're going to make this public so we can actually see it in the editor. And we're going to change this Boolean to our grip enum. So this grip enum is actually communicating with this file here so we can get the hands. So if I now go up to, or if I compile and save, if we go up to our cube now, you'll see on the right hand side, we have a new tab called default and animation to use. This lets us set which animation we want to use for the pickup object, so we can actually change between them all. We don't have open can grab or grab setup, so it'll only go to open, but for now we've got rock. Excellent, so that's it for our pickup cube at the minute. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a custom actor component. This is gonna store all of our code essentially, so we can drag and drop this onto any object in the world and it'll allow us to change the animation. So we're gonna right click, Going to go to blueprint class and we're going to select actor component. So we're going to right click and we're going to add our new actor. So we're going to do actor component. An actor component is a reusable component that can be added to any actor, but exactly what it says. So we're going to give it the prefix AC for actor component and I'm going to call this one set hand animation. We hit enter. Now done, we can go into this one and this is where it's going to get complicated. So first thing we need to do is set up three variables. We're going to need two bools and a grip enum. So for the top one, we're going to call this set animation. You'll see mine's already defaulted boolean, but you know how to change it if not. The second is going to be a bool, and we're going to call this left slash right hand if I spell it properly. So we've got left right left slash right hand. And now for the third one, we actually need to change this to our grip enum. And we're going to call this hand animation to use. And this is going to be set from the interactable object. So we're going to delete these because we don't need them. We're then going to right click and we're going to create a custom event, which we're going to control and we're going to call this set hand animation. Excellent. So what we need now is in the input, we need to add some variables to this. The first one is going to be called hand pose and it's going to be our grip enum. The second is going to be a bool called set animation. And the third is going to be an object, which is going to call get hand. And I've got the boolean, go search object, and you'll scroll down, you get object reference. And now we can start putting our, our graph together. So the first thing we're going to need is our hand animation. We're going to do a set, and we're going to plug that into our hand pose. We're then going to get our set animation. We do set plug that in and we're going to plug this into our set animation. I'm going to make a reroute note just to keep it tidy. And the third, we're actually going to get the hand and we're going to drag off that. We're going to do get display name. From there, we drag off and we're going to do contains. And we want contains from the string tab. Because what we're going to do is we're going to check to see if the second controller has a one in it because when it spawns, it does go from zero to one and it allows to get the second controller to change the animation from it. There may be an easier way to do this, but for now I haven't really figured it out. But this works, this works absolutely fine. So the last thing we need to do here is get our left slash right hand. We're gonna plug that into our return value and we're gonna plug that into the top. Excellent, so if we tidy this up, we're gonna move along. And now what we need to do is actually cast to our motion controller pawn. So I'm going to do cast to motion controller pawn because we're going to use this to get our hands and then the animations which we're going to set. And for the object, we're going to drag off and we're going to do get player pawn. And we want the bottom one. So now if you hit compile, you shouldn't actually get any errors, which is excellent. And what we need to do is get both our left and right controller. So we're just going to do, we're going to drag off the blue pin as motion controller pawn. We're going to do left controller, so we'll get left first, and then we'll do get right.
I recommend putting them in this order as I'm not too sure it's going to mess up if we change it around. So once we've got the two controllers, we're actually going to create a select node. So if we search select, it's this one with the little yellow trident looking symbol. It's basically it allows us to choose which one. And what we're going to do is we're going to plug the left controller into option zero and the right controller into option one. And from our index, we're going to choose Boolean. And we're going to use our left and right hand to set it. So just drag that in, drag it on. So, so far, your code should look something like this. And if I select that, you can see on the right all the settings. So hopefully this is all looking good. And what we need to do now is get our hand mesh. So we've got our hand mesh. We're then going to get anim instance. And we're going to use this to cast to our right hand animation blueprint. So we plug this into our other cast node. You should be left with a graph that looks like this. And now if we go across, we're going to do, so if we drag out the execute pin, we can do branch by turn off caps lock. And we're going to drag in our set animation to control this. From here, we need to set, we need to set our switch animation. So in our animation blueprint, we've got switch animation. This is where we're going to set it. We can't drag off here because we can't access it. So we need to drag off the as right hand anim blueprint and search switch animation. And for this case, we're going to use set. So I'm going to plug the first one into true. And then we actually need another one. So I'm going to do control W, which allow me to duplicate it without copying and pasting. And I'm also going to plug it into the hand. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag off and I'm going to do period key. And then I'm going to create a reroute node and we'll plug this in just to keep it tidy. Now what we need to do is make sure the bottom one from our false channel is set to true. So what we're going to do is we're now going to drag off our reroute node and we're going to do set grip state. We're also going to need two of these. So we're going to plug the first one into the top and then we'll do control W again. Plug that into the second. And for the second, we want to make sure grip stays set to open. And we also need to plug that into our reroute as well. And I'm just going to do a reroute node again, just to keep it clean. Excellent. And the last thing we need to do here is just get our hand animation to use and plug that into our first grip. So we hit compile, save, and now we're done here. So what have we got? We've got our custom event where we're setting the hand pose and the, anim the set animation. We're also getting our hand information so we can set the animation. So we set these, we then cast to our uh, motion controller pawn, which gets our left and right controller. We then do a select, and then we get the animation instance, which we can actually update. So we cast to that, and then we can set the variables and the information here. So that's basically it for this one. We're gonna hit compile and save. And I'm gonna now go to my blueprint pickup cube because we're going to attach our custom component that we just created to it. So we go to add component, actually if we type in set. So we've got set hand animation. We're going to bring that in. So now we've got our custom component that we just created in our blueprint. We're going to drag that into the scene and we're going to use this to set our custom event. So we're going to do type call function and you see it actually shows our custom event that we created set hand animation. And we're going to bring this up to the top and we're also going to create one for our event drop. So with the component selected, I'm just going to do control W, make a second one, plug that into the bottom, plug the top one into the top. And then we're going to plug these in the same thing. So should be left with something that looks similar to this or hopefully identical to this. And the next thing we need to do is get our animation to use variable, which we created. And we're going to plug that into our hand pose, but only on the top one. The bottom one is going to default back to our open. And the next thing we need to do is set animation. And if I move these up a little bit, the last thing we need to do is set our hand. So if you remember, we get our hand, but we haven't got anything calling from it here. So I'm going to drag off our attach to. 
create a brand new reroute node, bring this across and do another one. And we're going to plug this into get hand for the top node and get hand for the bottom one. And if we tidy it up a little bit, we're going to hit compile and save. And now we can actually jump into our project. So I'm going to go to motion controller. As you can see, by default, everything's set to open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select our cube and I'm going to change this to rock because that's the only one we've got set up at the minute. So I'm going to jump in and I hit play. And now when I actually pick up an object, it actually changes the hand animation to the one we selected. And you can see I can pick up two different objects with two different hand animations. By default, it's set to open. And that's how we create custom hand animations for VR. So what I'm going to do is wrap it up here. And in part three, we'll cover how we can create or we can add the existing animations to our setup and how we can make another custom animation just so you know how you can actually build onto this and not not have more animations because I know it's been quite confusing so far. So hopefully you guys enjoy this and I look forward to seeing you in part three. Excellent. I'll see you over there. Bye.